old flame. Do you love me? I love you with a life. Thank you, I'm on my way. Anna, what? Night shop raid. The panic button is on, so... The guys are there, I'm going to. I got it. Breaking news are very good, of course. Just be careful there. Listen and obey, my big boss. Don't take too long. Breakfast is in the fridge. Just warm it up. Victims? I don't know anything yet. Another second and one would appear. I didn't think they would shoot. You think they just came for ice cream? Oh! Look who is here! Uh. <laughs> I know him. Show me! Who is it? Ah. And I know him. I do. Who is this there? Who are you? Beat. He had no gun. Beat? You are in trouble! You wanted to make easy money, huh? They promised you gold? There is no easy money. That's the first rule of life, man. Everyone is alive. The guard hardly got injured by a gunshot. An ambulance is coming over. Take them to the station. Let's go. Topo? Yes, sir. Relax. I understand the journalist is cool. <clears throat> but take it easy. Got it. <clears throat> Anna. Anna. This is the last time. There 
were three of them, Yulia. One of them almost shot me. Really? Wow, you were brave. Didn't he hurt you? <laughs> no, he didn't. Listen, do you maybe want to change the role? I need a... Partner for my show. Thanks, I don't. Cut the onion into slices, add some chili, and wow, miracle. Our delicious sauce is ready. Where's the drive, Yulia? Where is it? All right, I get it, I understand. You don't have to do it, all right? Without a drive, what's the point of anything, am I right? But you have a real drive, right? Don't worry, I just love my job. Oh, does Sergei like your job? He does, a lot. Sure he does. How long have you been together? Um, almost a year. That's longer than anyone would have. Did he propose already? Uh, should he? I arrived. Okay, Yulia, we'll talk later. Okay, see you later. So when do we begin? In five minutes. Oh. Where... Where's my lipstick? Congratulations. Thanks, dear. Hey, man. You were late again. Anna, what is it? Is there no one to wake you up in time? You are right, Bogev. Should I maybe ask you to work as an alarm clock, huh? Who? Me? Yeah. What do you think? Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hey. Should we go to the registry office today? We'll have a wedding in a month. I'll take care of it. Then we'll go to the Dominican Islands. So this means you proposed? Yeah, one minute ago. Till death do us part, right? If you say yes. Hmm. What? I do. <laughs> I love you. Wait, is a month enough to get ready? Well, why not? We need to book a restaurant to buy a dress. Hey, listen. Write an article and... What happened? Well, nothing. It's a bullet wound. I'll be fine. I asked you. Please. I I'm kidding. I, I just caught up to the wedding. Look, this isn't funny. I'm asking you. Yes, you understood right. I'm getting married. What? Yes. Really? Will we be having a bachelorette party? A bachelorette party? Do we need it? Of course. And don't you dare argue with me. Okay, then I'll see you in a couple of days. We'll discuss everything and we'll choose a dress, right? Why in a couple of days? Why not tomorrow? I know a very good salon, very nice dresses, luxury, please, come on! Okay, but I can't do it tomorrow. I'm going to see my dad, so you know. Okay, that is bad. But when you come back, call me, and we will discuss the bachelor party. Good deal, love. Uh, okay, bye.
Hi. What? You crazy? You scared me. Just wanted to surprise you. Girls love flowers. I'm not every girl. Why flowers? My birthday is not today. I know when your birthday is. <laughs> Just on this day. A year ago, I met you and <laughs> you met me. Mm -hmm. So, is that a reason to give me flowers? Well... Ugh. Max. Listen. You're a good guy. But I'm not going to marry you. At least not now. You knew that, right? I'm not asking you that, okay? Yeah? Yeah. It's just that we live so strangely. We don't go anywhere together. We have no friends in common. You're always painting. <sighs> what is wrong with it? You live in my apartment. You sleep with me in the same bed. Mm -hmm. What is it? But I feel like we don't live together anymore. What? Max, we agreed. I don't owe you anything and you don't owe me. Or did you think we're family? What? No, not a family. Family is when people love each other and live happily. They have cats, or dogs, or even children. Hey. Yeah. No. No children. I don't want kids, you know that. I know. This is what I had to deal with every day. I'm gonna go now. <clears throat> To our engagement. To us. So when are you going to tell your mom? <laughs> Tomorrow. I have to be ready for this. <laughs> um, will you choose a dress with Yulia? Sure, what would I do without her? But first, I want to tell my father everything. Will you come with me, please? I don't know. I don't... Hmm. <laughs> I just think that... Maybe you should tell him. His daughter is the best woman ever. Don't forget it. Well then, here is to us. Oh, sweetie. I miss you so much. <laughs> are you feeling hungry? I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> 
Sit down. Oh, I don't have delicacies, but I'll think of something. Let's see, we have... I'm fine, uh, I don't want to eat. How about some steamed milk? Zorka's? Yes, hers. <laughs> You've always liked it. Her milk is the best. I had forgotten. <laughs> yeah, this is not the city, you know. Well, here you go. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. How's Zorka? Our cow is getting old. Yeah. That's bad. It is. I remember we bought her with your mom when she was still a calf. Yeah, your mother loved her a lot. Dad, don't. You drink, drink. Dad, drink. maybe you should look for someone. There are so many lonely women in the village. Uh, actually, <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's a great idea. They looked at me too. I'm sure yeah. they do. <laughs> All right, come on, tell me, what's up? How are you? Any news? Dad, I have news. And? I'm getting married with Sergei. But why? Do you love him? You're not happy? Well, if you are in love, I'm happy. That's a strange answer. Well, to tell you the truth, of all your boyfriends, the only one I ever liked was Max. Max? Yeah. And what about Max? A hundred years passed. He left me when he returned from the army, did you forget? It was his choice. No, oh, I remember. So... I still can't understand. You loved each other so much. But after the army, he became a completely different person. Mm. Okay, Dad. Forget <laughs> it. I'm marrying Sergei. Very good. <laughs> Anna! <gasps> Anna is here. She is here. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> go see your goddaughter. Or she will bring everyone here. <laughs> So you decided. Are you sure? Really sure that she is your lucky star? Anna is special, Mom. Yeah, special. That is what is worrying me. If a woman's IQ is above average, she can expect problems in family life. Mom, come on, we're colleagues. There is always something to talk about. Yes, your father and I were also colleagues. But then he cheated on me with my best friend. You know the story. What do you want, Mom? I want you to use your brain, Sergei. You used to date Vika before Anna. She is a model, wealthy parents, well-educated. She needed you. You shouldn't have broken up with her for Anna. She's not for you, and you know that. Think of the future. Mom, I will marry Anna, whether you like it or not. I feel comfortable next to her. Mm. So just stop, all right? Yes, Mary. I'm not saying no. This is your life, Sergei, so it's up to you. Yeah. Anna, look at my new doll. She has a new dress. It's so nice. I also brought you a present. Look, it's for your doll. <gasps> cool. Do you know, when I was playing outside, her from kindergarten pinched me today, and it hurt me so much. Look at my arm. Did you cry? No, I didn't cry. Is that good? It is. That makes you a strong girl, okay? Maybe he likes you. Is mom home? Yeah, she's helping Gay do her hair. Okay. Tell me, why do you need all this beauty, huh? <laughs> Mm. I'm invited to the anniversary of the Kuznetsovs. At the Kuznetsovs? Oh. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah. Hello? Uh, hello. <gasps> what? Hello! Look who is it? Mm, I... <laughs> Ready. That's it. Sure? Huh? Yeah. You can even marry now. Come on, Toma. I've been married for 20 years. What, 20 years? 
Didn't you celebrate ten years during spring? If you lived with my husband, a year's worth for two, like polar explorers. Thank you. Thank you, enough. I owe you, we'll talk later. <laughs> a year for two? That's about her husband, I would say, not for Kate. Hey. <laughs> for you? Here. Mm. Thank you. Clothes. Mm. 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 So, how do I look? Mm? Uh huh, very good. Mm. Toma, mm. I'm getting married. Married? Wow. And with who, your roommate? He isn't a roommate. I really love him. I will bring you an invitation with Sergei later. Will you be celebrating in the city? I think so. Well, how are you? Tell me. I'll tell you. Um, well, I'm getting mad. In this hole. If it wasn't for Sue, I would be in the city too, but no. And you are lucky. You have a good job and a powerful boyfriend. And Granny left an apartment as a legacy. Excellent. Were you drinking? Well, I drank a little. There was a reason. Mm, what is it? None of your business. You can't drink at all, you know that. It's my business, okay? So stop asking me. So, no more good news? Get out. Okay, we'll talk later. Mm -hmm, sure we will. Don't be mad at Mom, Anna. Mom is a nice person. I know. Take care, Sue. My love, Anna, I love you so much. My soul is torn from what I have to tell you. We can't escape fate, and I don't want to lie to you. For me, the worst has already happened. 
I can't make you happy. We cannot be together. Please forgive me. Forgive me and please do understand. I will always love you. Goodbye. Forever yours, Max. Anna. Anna, hurry up. Thomas' house is on fire. Say something. How is she? Oh, God. Anna. Toma, get back to her senses. She wants to see you. Don't worry, so we'll be okay. Anna, forgive me. Forgive me. I... I don't want to go there unforgiven. Please. I already forgave you a long time ago. And you know what I think? You will be okay soon. Take care of Sue, please. She has no father. According to the documents, but he is. You will find him in the city where I worked before. Anton Kunitsin. Find him. Find him. Promise. Please promise me. You will look for him. I do. But it's too early for you. He. He is a good man. He visited a couple of times and promised to help find him. 
don't leave Sue. Kiss her for me. Tell her mom loves her very, very much. Toma? 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 Give her oxygen. Take her pulse. I think she's dead. Move, move. Let's do CPR. Okay, such a grief. I'll be out for a couple of days. I will come back after the funeral. Watch your head. Be careful. Careful. Poor baby. Let's go. Hello? He's not home. This is urgent. Tell him to come to his sister's place. Tell Sorry, me. I'm late. I'll tell him. Please tell him. I will. Bye. Max, see you in a couple of days. Lucy, it says here that everyone wants to be like Jennifer Lopez. So is that true? <laughs> What's so funny? Does Anton Kunitsin work here? Anton? Yes. Have a seat, please. I'm Anna, Thomas' friend. Remember her? We need to talk. Not here. Let's go outside. Sotoma is dead. Wow. She left her daughter, Sue. Thomas said you're her father. So it doesn't matter what she said. Is it not so? And if it is, so what? Sue, stop talking, stop eating. Who will take care of her? Don't even ask. I won't take her. And I'm not sure that she's mine. Who knows who else Thomas dated? Could be anyone. Wait, you and Thomas live together. Together? The only thing we had was free love. I didn't promise to marry her. I told her to get an abortion. I didn't want a kid. Even like this? Tomo was not made for a family. What would we have done together? Live in a rented apartment? I need a woman with an apartment. You understand? And she has to be beautiful. No exceptions. That's all I've wanted. And did your dream come true? Did you find a beauty with an apartment? Anton! I'm coming! So you did. Here, buy some chocolate for the kid, or tangerines, and that's all. I don't exist, got it? Tom has a cousin. Let him take care of the girl. This is Anna. I'm on my way. Who is this woman? Well, just, uh... 
one of my relatives from the village. Mm. Can you describe him? Mm, yeah, tall. Uh-huh. Dark hair. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Baseball cap. Uh-huh, baseball cap. Sign here. Are there other clues? Gasoline. One on one, he poured the cashier with gasoline. Took out a lighter, demanded money. She gave it to him and he left. Does it match the previous robbery? Tall, very drunk baseball cap. Captain, sir! Coming! Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hello, Yulia. Yes, I'm back. Well, come to my place in two hours. I need your advice. No, not about the wedding. See, I'll tell you. I'm sorry about your friend, Anna. I remember her. She came to the university a couple of times. But does the girl have any relatives left? Well, not really, just Max. He's Thomas' cousin. But he wasn't at the funeral. Maybe no one told him what happened. So you tell him. What is the problem? I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> what is he? An alcoholic? Or even worse? What? He's unreliable. What are you talking about? Look, let the guardianship authorities decide that. I am not sure. Well, tell me. Listen, I know you. Why such antipathy towards this, Max? Help yourself? Mm-hmm. We were in love. A long time ago. Uh, and? I was in high school when we started dating. I was in love. I thought about him all the time. Oh. Mm. Then he went to the army and that's it. What do you mean, that's it? As a fool, I waited for him, wrote letters uh -huh. to him. Do you know what he wrote to me? I'm sorry. We cannot be together. And he moved to the city. <laughs> Idiot! My life ended then. He is an idiot. And so, help yourself. But I still think you have to tell him about the girl. If I do that, I would need to see him then. Well, then you will. Does he live in the city? Married? I think he is, Thomas said. Then it's not a problem at all. You will give them Sue, and then you will be free. You need to get ready for the wedding, okay? Come on, chin up. Hmm? We're about to find the smacks, you know. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Julia, what are you doing here? Mm, we were talking about the wedding. <laughs> and? Well, I have to go. Already? Uh, yeah. Bye. Shall I? No, no, you stay. <sighs> Sorry, Sergey. I didn't have time to cook dinner. There was a call for a robbery, but there is some tea. Bug did it again, he wrote another name. Not the director's. What if it would have been published like this? Imagine the scandal. Yeah, I'm trying to distract you. Mm. Sorry, Sergey. I'm just thinking about something. It's time to think about us. No? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Sí.
you say something? Thank you. Why did you go to sleep on the sofa tonight? I wanted silence. Am I talking in my sleep? A lot. Tell me, who is Max? Max? Max is Pisu's uncle. Thomas' brother, mm. the only one from the family, that's why... No, it's okay then. Coffee as usual? So it all happened around 1300, the period of prosperity of Europe ended with a series of disasters, like the Great Famine. 1315 to 1317, write it down, test material, very important. Which happened due to cold and rainy downpours that ruined the entire crop. Then cholera and plague came to Europe. Voster, aren't you interested? You! So, uh... For the next lesson, do not forget to hand over your essence. <laughs> Guys, give me a minute, okay? Here you go. One second. Here. There you go. to talk to you. I see. Toma was buried the day before yesterday, so it's okay for now. What? What? What happened? There was a fire in the house. She was badly burned, so it's fine, but Toma... Oh my... Didn't they tell you? No, I didn't know anything. You have to decide what's going to happen with Sue. There is nothing to decide. I'm taking her with me. Are you sure? I am. You don't trust me? Where is she now? In the village with my father. Good. How is your wife? What will she say about Sue? Who? Wife? I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Okay, the main thing is that Sue feels good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. If I had my way, I would never trust Sue to you.
Of course. She is missing her mom. She suffers a lot. Yeah. You know what I think? We should take her to the doctor. Maybe something went wrong in her brain or something. Something's wrong with your brain, Kate. Time will pass, you understand? She needs time, Kate. Time! Even the wound will heal in a couple of weeks. And then what? A stab in her heart. <sighs> toma, Toma. She managed to fight with everyone in her lifetime. Everyone. True. It's true. I'm just thinking... This kid who... With who she will stay. With me. Uh, hello. 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 She will be with me. Sue, will you live with me? There you go. Problem solved. And Max, please. You have to tell childcare that she is with you. I will. Everything will be fine, Uncle Ivan. Do not worry. Here. <sighs> These are her toys. And some other stuff. Mm -hmm. Just a few things to play with. You know, kids like to uh, play with yeah. these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, um, here's some oh, honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, okay. So, okay. Anna talked to you, right? Yeah, she's a very good woman. Well, you're not the only one who thinks so. Max, she's getting married. Wow. Spread the love, as they say. Max, I'm sorry. I've wanted to ask you for a long time. Do you... still love Anna, huh? Tell me. I don't understand what you mean. Yes, you do. Yeah. You love her. I can see that. And she didn't forget you. So why did you leave her, then? I just don't get it. Just can't. Goodbye. Goodbye.
I understand. Love you, take care. So, how did he react to the news of the wedding? Hmm. Well, he is glad. I don't hear the optimism in your voice, my love. Hmm. You know him, Sergei. He's kind of... And how did your mother react? She's absolutely happy. I see. Probably she said I'm not a match for you at all. You know how she is. She is also a bit... Peculiar? Exactly. Sergei, do you think maybe you could ask her for a favor? Let me see. What kind? We need help with Sue. Max took her to him. She lives in the city now. Will you talk to your mom about enrolling her in the kindergarten? Mm, well, it's not easy. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll ask her. Hmm? Thank you. My cat knows crack, my crowd knows comfort, my poodle knows judo, my turtle knows too. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. My cat knows crack, my crowd knows comfort, my poodle knows judo, my turtle knows too. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather. Yes, Sergey. It was really bad. There was a huge thunderstorm. Yes, Mom, these storms. I have to ask you something. I'm sure you need some help. You can't just call to say hello. Mom, uh, could you take one girl into your kindergarten? Who wants it? You? Well, me or Anna. What's the difference? Does it matter? Ah, so you're the petitioner. All right, come with your protege then. All right, Mom. You are the best. Thank you. I know I am. When will you grow up, son? Bye. Don't you like it? Me neither. Ugh. Ale drew this. My Ale? She's an artist. I'll introduce you to her tonight. <sighs> Well, let's go have breakfast, huh? Sue, so, Sue, so, hello, my ah. dear. How do you know where I live? I'm watching you. How is she? She's fine. That's good. Where are you going now? Shopping. Sue needs to buy some clothes. Later she'll go to school. It's okay with the kindergarten. Sergei's mom agreed about everything. Sergei? Your fiancé? Did Dad tell you? Yeah, he is. By the way, he's the editor-in-chief of a top weekly. And his mom is the head of a speech therapy clinic. I'm happy for you, all right. It has to be in that kindergarten. What's wrong with it? There are doctors, psychologists, speech therapists, and in general, it's the best in the city. 
Good. Thank you. So we'll go shopping and then to the kindergarten? No, we will manage without you. Just give me the address. Why can't I help? Oh, what if your editor-in-chief doesn't like it or something? <laughs> hmm? This isn't even funny. We trust each other, all right? Get into the car. My car is there. your mom. Mm -hmm. Hello, is Mrs. Anastasia in? No, she's in class right now, helping children. Follow me. Kids plastered with scrambled eggs. Oh, oh, it's right here. Follow me, follow me. Thank you, and the girl's name is Sue. So, how many weeks? Me? I am not... Oh, really? I know Sergei, and he will only marry you if you are pregnant. So you don't know your son at all? I'm not pregnant, we just love each other. Just love? And you know what? Let's make a deal right now, after the wedding. Do not try to call me mom. We don't do that in our family. Got it? Now go call your friend. Let's see the child. I want to see what we're dealing with. Let's go. Come on. She's here. Uh, have a seat. Did she talk before? Mm -hmm. Chatted nonstop. Anna, you can go now. We can manage without you. So, are you going to take her? The case is hard, but we will deal with it. Thank you. So, um, where is the girl's ID? Um, it was actually, um, lost in a fire. Ah, uh, yes. Anna told me. Get the new one, and don't delay, all right? We will. Thank you very much. Let's go. Come on. No, we haven't finished quite yet. So, our kindergarten is quite elite. Your case is difficult. You need private lessons, and who will work for free, am I right? What do you think? Let's discuss the financial side of the issue. It is expensive here. So, are you ready to pay? Well, I guess I have to. How much is it? How much? Thank you, Sergei. They took Sue in. Well, you see. How did it go with Mom? Very nice. This is very good. Okay, love you. Bye. Hi. Bye. What happened? Are you busy? I want to talk to you. Okay. Don't tell Anna. I think that we are going to have a bachelor party in the same style. Hmm. What do you say? Here are the options. Retro style, pajama style, uh, country, uh, goodbye childhood, school. No, not school. No, no, no. Not? Why not? Well, Anna wants to remember. Anna's first love. She had a real romance with one guy at school. She was waiting for him from the army. His name is Max. Have a look. What, Anna didn't tell you? I know only one Max. The uncle of Sue. Hey, Igor. Yes? What can I help you with? Was, Hello. Um, Hello. Hello. 
I was wondering if he had any vacancies. We don't have vacancies at the moment. Uh, mm. what is going on? Mm, uh, mm, well, my niece lives with me now. We arranged a speech therapy school mm. for her, but I have to pay for this. Mm. So I need the money. I see, but uh, you should talk to me in the summer. We are full, no one's asking for vacancies. At Hello. The Hello. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Mm. All right. Slobot Street. Get in. How much? We will see. Witness? I can be a witness. Isn't it too early for you to get married, Sergey? It's fine. I have a delicate question for you. Yeah? Could you help me with information about one person? Well, why don't you go ask your people? I don't want Anna to know about it. Whoa. Okay. What exactly do you want? I'll tell you. Give it to me. <laughs> Come on. Max. I'm home. Hi. Hi. Who is this? Sue. My niece. She will stay with us. Do you mind? Um, what shall I say? <laughs> Can we talk? Wait here. She will sleep in the same bed with us? Yeah. I thought... She could sleep here? This is my workshop. Look, Max, we had an agreement, right? You have your own life, I have mine. Without long-term obligations and children, remember? I do. So it's over? It is. We'll go to the hotel then. I'll take my stuff in the morning. Do you want some money? Thank you, no. Leave the keys, Max.
Bye. So, what are you doing here? A present for her. Hmm. How is she? It's all the same. And your wife? We're fine. Sorry, we have to go. Sure. Max! I... I I'm getting married. Um... um uh, congratulations. We wish you the best. Let's go. What a fool. Max Bilov. He was born in the village. After the army, he moved to the city, graduated from the history department. He's a teacher now. Take a look. He lived with the artist Eil Korovkova. Why is it in the past tense? A couple of weeks ago, they split. Really? Don't ask. Read below. Oh, wow. What am I talking about? You asked me to find everything. Are they here already? No, we are gone. Damn. We're late. Oh, God. <sighs> mm -hmm. Listen, bro. Give us a lift to a stand here. We'll pay you a lot. All right? Let's go. Can you take us? What do you think? Huh? The... What do you say? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still here? Mm-hmm. She hasn't come yet. Are you still working? Back off, huh? 
Oh, we will have a great bachelor party today. Did you invite a stripper in a cake? Uh, how did you know that? It's not hard to guess. Just don't tell the boss. Good evening, Anastasia. I'm going to a bachelorette party. What? He didn't pick her up? I'm sorry. Sue. Sue. Let's go. Come on. Goodbye. Goodbye. ask you for a long time. Do you still love Anna? Max, Max. I, I I'm, I'm getting married. Hello? Hello? Why didn't you pick Sue up? Where is Max? His cell phone is off. Get in, Sue. Come on. Let's go. When he comes home, tell him it shouldn't happen again. What is this? A prank? What prank? I'm sorry, but today is a very important day for me. I am late. Stop. Listen to me. Don't waste your breath. You're wasting your time. Max doesn't live here anymore. And neither does this lady. What? What... what do you mean? How could I know? Where does he live? Maybe his colleague Igor knows. They're kind of like chess friends, he'll tell you. How can I find this Igor? Let me check if I have a phone number. Wait here. No, I did not see him after class. Um, where does he live now? I'm sorry, I don't know the address. He's been taxing lately. Maybe he drove someone out of town and the car broke down or something. Max is picking people up as a taxi driver? Well, yes, Max needs the money. He has to pay for the kindergarten plus an apartment. You understand. Gotta go. Bye. It's off again. What should we do, huh? Tell me. Sure. I have to pay again. I am tired of this, Nick. Look, what is it? I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah. Is he alive? Is he? Who knows? Wait, don't touch him. Go, huh? Leave him here. Of course not. It could be any one of us, am I right? Go, call the police. Tell them to come here. Okay. Uh, he is alive. Oh Lord.
Anna, why are you late? I don't know what to do, Sergey. Max is missing. Max? What? I can't leave Sue alone here. You always find problems. And his cell phone is off. So what, we cancel everything? Why, please don't. Okay, don't let me ruin your evening. Okay? The car is waiting. Get ready. I can't just leave her. I have to think about Sue. I'll call my friend. Maybe she can help us or something. People are waiting there. This is a very special party. Don't ruin everything, okay? Get ready. I'll be there. I'll see you. Hello, who is he? Heidi, how is he? Sue, don't cry. Everything will be fine, I'm sorry. Hello, Peter. This is Anna. I have one question. Did you receive any information about Max Belov? It's like you just read my mind. I was just about to call you. Really? Why? That's why. We found your Max in the forest. Beaten. Barely breathing. He's in the operating room. Right now. What? Why mine? Did he tell you something about me? If he could talk, I wouldn't exactly be asking him about you. There was an ID in Max's jacket. And your photo was there. Hmm. Hello? Can you hear me? I am here. Where is he now? In the hospital. I'm coming, Peter dear. I beg you. Please, stay there. Don't go anywhere. I won't. I'll do what I can. Sue, so, I'll take you to my grandmother's friend now. Her name is Claudia. She is a very good woman. She will stay with you, okay? Just don't cry anymore. Yes? Julia? No, I won't come to the bachelorette party. Celebrate without me. Max is in trouble. I'm going to the hospital. How is Max? How is he? He just had surgery right now. He's in the ward now. Anna, how do you know him? Thank you, Peter. Later, okay? Later. Do you remember Wait a how second, we... Cash. Hello. Julia? Wait, is Anna with you? What? Okay, thank you. Bye. Sorry. I don't want to. And I. Uh, I was. I was wondering. Happy. I. 
more. say things like that. He is a good guy. I know. First love, you didn't say anything. I had to know. I'm so sorry. Anna. You, you run a background check on me? I need to know everything about you. I want to live with you all my life. Let's go home. Please. We have a wedding tomorrow. Sergei, do you love me? Don't you see? Don't you know that? You know what I had to do to make our wedding happen. How much money I spend. What's wrong with you? You didn't come to the party? You spend your time with Sue? I promised Thelma I would take care of Sue. And about him? You promised to take care of him? Things have changed, don't you understand? Wake up. Wake up, you should be with me, not with him. Forgive me. Forgive me. Just tell me that all this seemed to me that it was a terrible dream and you still love me. I beg you, let's go home. I beg you, please. What? What? What are you doing? He is a sick man. He's shell-shocked. He can't even have kids! Don't. Please. Don't. Say that again? Say that again. I love you! <laughs> <laughs> she speaks! <laughs> 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 